My name is Anna Sean Doobie, and I'm the owner of Latitude's Fair Trade Store in downtown Stanton. It's been seven years now, which is hard to believe. Time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> I previously had a job over in Charlottesville that was high stress, long hours, and was just not fulfilling. My mom started Latitudes several years prior to that. Uh, she's had a store in Warrington, Virginia for about 10 years now. And I always loved what she was doing, and I thought Stanton would be a really great location for it. Well, Fair Trade is a really unique situation where you get to help artisans in developing countries. So all the products in the store are made by artisans who receive a fair living wage. There's no child labor, no sweatshops. It's really about trying to alleviate poverty in some really poor areas of the world and treat people with dignity and respect. And I thought that was just a really beautiful concept and you get to do something really fun with the store, these really beautiful products and telling people stories from across the world and getting people excited about this, the, the artistry and craftsmanship from around the world. So one of the groups we work with, I was in India and they work with a lot of, of artisans in India all over the country, but they have a little quality control center and they make these little bags out of recycled saris and they also just uh, kind of you know, make sure all of the products that are made are up to quality standards. And the women that are in this, this center have escaped abusive relationships and just getting to meet them and hear their stories and see how this has impacted their lives is just, it's so incredible. Um, and just, you know, they were so grateful just to be able to do the quality control for these products, but it had changed their lives completely because they were able to get out of these really difficult situations. Starting a business is not for the faint of heart. <laughs> I'm sure you know that as well. It's a lot of a lot of uh, time, a lot of sweat, a lot of tears, a lot of money. I'm sure that there are situations where we're taken less seriously as women. We just keep pushing and I think that really beautiful things about a lot of the women that I've met is that we don't give up. It's a passion, so you just keep going. We provide a lot more hands-on customer service than if you were to shop online. A lot of people come in here not really knowing what they're looking for. They know who they're shopping for, but they're not really sure what they need until they see it. I mean, I am just every year blown away by the support that we get all year, but especially this time of year. Every day someone comes in and they say, you know, how much they love the shop and it means so much to me. And I really, from the bottom of my heart, I'm just so grateful. Being a woman, I wasn't taken quite as seriously as I should have been. Getting finance, finances was tough. I had to do a lot of work to get that. The fair trade world is a really strongly uh, feminine influenced world, which is really cool. So I have a lot of support from the women that are blazing the trails with fair trade, which is awesome. Being a woman in business, it's tough. The support of the women in this uh, field is just incredible. They really are just the largest support system. Like I feel like the fair trade world is just a big family and we meet together and we share our best practices and we share our sales numbers and we share anything anybody asks for because we kind of are of the understanding that, you know, what's good for one is good for all. We are in a really, a really cool community and I'm really grateful for it. There are a lot of amazing women out there that are really willing to help amazing organization called the Shenandoah Capital Community Fund here in Stanton. They were instrumental to me in opening my business and I don't know if I would be here without their support and their guidance. And yeah, it's tough. I mean, opening your own business is not easy, but don't give up. Don't let a no get in the way of your dream and just keep going. Um, it's scary. I really think that the greater the risk, the greater the reward. You know, for the last seven years that I've been really happy in my job. And this is the first time I've been, ever been able to say that. It gets better, but it's really hard at the beginning. <laughs> but don't give up.